this is the same evening that I finished um, Slaughterhouse Five. Uh, I also have finished uh, The Contender by uh, Robert Lip Lipsight. Um, first time I read this book, I was in the eighth grade, I think. Um, this book's actually from that class. Shout out to Miss Ellenson because I stole the book. Absolutely, I did. Um, somehow, some way, this is the second book that I've read that is about a an African American boy in New York that uses boxing as his escape from the world that he lives in. Um, I don't know if there's some sort of uh, stereotype there or some sort of just general trend there. This book was written in or uh, published probably in the 1980s. Uh, that's what I would assume. Cover art's in 1987. Um, 1967. So this is the 60s. 1967, which also makes this a lot easier to understand, I think. Um, so yeah, so this is book is 55 years old. Um, still a good read. Still an enjoyable read. Um, in terms of like the, the actual content of this book, there's a lot of it that I agree with and there's some of it that I don't agree with. Um, I don't know Robert Lipsight, um, but there's a lot of kind of down talking of the, the rise of like African American pride and you know, all of our antagonists um, are very much on the side of um, kind of rehabilitating African American and connecting back to African roots. And then all our protagonists, all the, all the people that we are supposed to like, are very much a let's just work with what we have and we'll get there eventually and you know i i'm gonna be somebody even if that, that somebody isn't famous or wealthy or, or things like that and i have mixed feelings on that um because obviously yes you want to work with kids in a way that tells them like, hey, I understand that like, not everyone gets to be the greatest X, Y, or Z, but you just need to be the best you that you can be, right? Whether that's helping in your community, whether that's, that's working with people, whether that's just trying to improve yourself, right? All those things are great things. At the same time, there also, I think there also needs to be an understanding about the issues that come with time periods and culture and things like that. And I think that just kind of gets swept under the rug in this um, in this book. So kind of mixed feelings on that. Um, I guess the 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 real point of of the the novel is to kind of show um compare uh alfred who was our main character alfred's rise in and station in life and willing to work willing to accept things and his work as a boxer as kind of go hand in hand um right and it's the last fight in which he just gets, he gets destroyed, but he manages to at least last all the rounds. It, it's kind of like <laughs> the USA and Britain just played uh, in the World Cup about two, three days ago, and they drew in it, um, which a lot of Americans took as a win, right? Because it's like, this is maybe our fourth, maybe even fifth sport. And we were 
able to go out and draw with the country that makes it their entire livelihood. Um, kind of similar thinking here is that you have um, Alfred, who it's his third fight, or I'm sorry, fourth fight, and he's still young, he's still training, um, he's still working at it, versus uh, the guy who goes up against the last name Hubbard, who is like five, six years older than him, and is just much more well-trained, just a lot better, a lot more well-rounded, right? So he, uh, Alfred ends up coming out with a draw, or with a loss, but he ends up going the, the, all the rounds, right? That becomes an internalized win, which then, I mean, allows him to, to work with and come back and try to help his friend, his, his long, uh, lifelong friend, who became addicted to uh, heroin, right? Um, fairly easy book. I mean, I read it in, in one evening. Um, in terms of teaching it, uh, once again, fairly easy to teach. It's not, there's not a lot going on here, right? Um, mm. Mm. there's just not a lot going on here. Um, but still a, a decent book, a decent enough book. Um, especially if you want to connect with kids that are a little more athletic, but also willing to, to, to read about and work with things that are a little bit harder to read, but not like fully get into it. Um, I mean, this book's a lot easier to, to teach than um, Jason Reynolds, Reynolds' When I Was the Greatest. I think it if this one progresses a little more quickly in terms of what we're getting at things. Um, but like a lot of the same key components. Um, this, The Contender, I would probably teach to a younger class. Um, when I was The Greatest by Jason Reynolds, I would teach to an older class because they're almost identical. They're almost identical. Um, and, and a lot of the key plot points and a lot of the key story points it's just that this one's a little bit easier to read a little bit easier to get through versus when I was the greatest which deals a lot more has a little bit more going on in it um, but yeah um, I don't know five it's, a, it's an enjoyable enough read um, but yeah